Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindi Dumbar and I'm coming to our, 20, our 35th uh, lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. So always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer without wasting any minutes. So in the previous lecture, we stopped at this level where we were able to get the employees list as well as trying to create a what an employee okay so this we finished it let me go ahead and run the application so we can have our, our updated version installed in the app install in the mobile in the emulator the mobile phone So there we go. So we stopped at stock categories and we're able to click on here to start stock categories. So we just duplicated this form and are going to refurbish it in order to switch the stock category one. All right, let's go ahead and see how we put stock category on the on our application. here so let me be like creating new one so install category need this store category name okay so we need category name so I'll come and remove uh, we need this status and then the image and then the details okay let's do that so I need the store category name so let me first change the title here to stock wait 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 should be so category so category i think i've not created the create screen yeah <laughs> we haven't created the great screen of store category let's see i've not created the create screen of store category let's go ahead and create the stock screen of store category so i'll come and press here the control and click on employee create screen then i'll come to that file like this there it is so this is the employee create screen i'll copy the way it is and then come and paste it here and call this one stock category create screen and then come and select everything here ctrl c ctrl c i mean ctrl f alt and enter and then paste it so we are replacing everything there that has the financial category. I mean financial employees create screen. We replace it with what with stocks category create screen. So we come and change the title here to create new stock category. All right, so that is okay. So let's go ahead and connect it. So we're coming to know the stock category what? File, stock categories file and then after i come and paste this one here straight creating new store category screen so this store category screen it should take it should take what it should take a store category model okay so i'll come here and change this one to store category model and make sure that i import it and then after I come to this screen and I change whatever it receives to store category model and I import it. So by doing so, it's going through a lot of error because you know, uh, because you know what? Because we know that uh, the company names, company information had much more information than store category. So I come and put here the one for editing, okay? Can put here the one for editing.
I'll paste in there and come and put your yeah, store category across the screen like this and everything is all right. So let's go now to this screen and remove unnecessary things. Uh, shall we need something like the name? Yes, we shall need the store category name. Remember to name this stock category. Stock category name, something like that. Okay. All right. So after doing that, uh, we shall come and remove this last name. We don't need it. Come and remove it. Six. We need something like that. This thing that. It makes it uh, uh, active and inactive. So I think we already have that button down there. So let's use that one on, to, on the bottom. Okay, so we proceed to remove this phone number. Okay, so we proceed to remove this. This one as well. Remove this address. Remove this DOB. Right, so remove this email. We don't need it. Remove this password. We don't need it. Right, so we need status. Status. We need it. So yes and no. So I think everything is now fine. Everything is fine. So now if I go back and I click on create should take me to create new store category. So that means that I'm just going to create a new store category. So this store category is going to support images. So in simple terms, we're going to be collecting the image of the store category. So it means that we're going to need a what? An image picker. Okay. So you should be able to select the image. Okay. So let's do that logic. So, so we're going to have category name. You can see we've already put category name and then the category status. It is here, the category status. So we're going to put category description. We are going to come back for this image. So I put category description. I'll come to a project. Let me drag and drop this one here. I'll come to our project here. Category description, I'm just going to pick uh, something like this. The name field. Okay, the text field. And then I'm going to come here in the bottom. Like this. So I'm going to put here a uh, description. I will collect category description. Then paste it here. So I'm going to put here category, store category description. So I'm going to make it uh, maybe can make it optional. So I can remove these validations. Yeah, very good. So if I save, it will be here. So if I want to make it like uh, to have like three lines, so I'm going to come here and say uh, minimum lines. It should be three, and then maximum lines should be five so you shall have something like that a bigger space so now if we come and uh, now we're going to work on now let's work on submission 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 uh-huh so we we'll just simply come to HTTP it's going to look almost much more of the same so we're going to be HTTP and then you put here so it's going to be everywhere where there is uh, uh, employee model. So let me come here and see whether there is employee model. I'm going to put store category model. So let me check whether there is employee model. Employee model. Employee model. This one here. This one here. We we'll do control F, Alt, and Enter and put stock category model like this. And then I do what and I save. Uh -huh. So it means that uh, even on HTTP, it can, it's going to do the same thing. So uh, after doing that, 
I think now everything is okay. I think everything is okay. I don't need even to change anything. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try. I think our things are just almost the same. Uh, so let's head, go ahead and try. So I'll just simply come here. Uh, category name, for example, I can put here. Uh, food stuffs. And then I say it is active. Maybe I can put here. Well, then, for example, put drinks. Drinks. Under drinks. I can put here maybe different kinds of beverages okay now yeah, go ahead and submit you see it is successful you see it is successful that is so beautiful that is so beautiful without any error and i click i'm able even to edit for example let me put here a second comma and I submit successful in a refresh here and I'll be like editing you see the second comma is there so adding a category it is successful now let's work on uh, adding the image so we should, we should know that we are done with that one <laughs> because we are not going to keep dodging the adding image okay so if I want to add image I'm going to add uh, another package for the image picker. Let me see if I've not added it already. So I come here to AMO. Then search for image. I think it's not there yet. So let's go ahead and add the image. So to add the image picker, we shall just simply come to our uh, Flutter packages and search for this. Let me show you the package that we're going to use. A very popular package called uh, image picker image picker so come and search for image picker flutter image picker just search for this one image picker flutter package so you'll see it is very popular it's available on all platforms uh, let's just go to installing so here you can go through it the basics and how you can get started with it you see that's how you can get started with it all right so let's go ahead and uh, just go to install installing tab here then on installing tab here just going to copy this flutter pub add image picker so add image picker I'll just simply copy this then come and do what come and uh, paste it Okay, I'm going to come and paste it. <coughs> just simply copy this and run it. Or you can just add this one under the dependencies. So me, I'm going to run this one in my what? In my terminal. So I come to the terminal. Terminal here, and then go ahead and run. You can as well just copy this one and run it under and put under dependence and do pub get all right so it will import for me i wait it has finished importing there we go so it is this one here so that is going to enable us to pick images from gallery or from the camera okay so we go back so i'm going to put here my user interface for picking image so let me just put it uh, I don't know whether in the, I should put it in the middle here, I put it down here, anywhere I want. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on top of the submit button. Eh? Do, 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 do. Let me put it here. Okay. Ah, yeah, let me put it here. So it's just my own UI that I'm going to write. So it's going to be, for example, it's going to be. Uh, container so just put here container okay and then in this container we just put a comment here say image picker okay in this container it's going to have a what a child let me see what these guys are proposing for me 
is that you should have something like this <laughs> uh copilot uh, so this container let me explain what this for for me we have the word image on top here and select select image no image selected then there will a button here called select image oh uh, should i go with this Can I go with it? I see as if it is too big. Let me put here. Uh, 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 uh. So image picker, it has column inside and inside it there is uh, text. Uh, image you can put here maybe category photo category photo and then I go ahead and say uh, image I mean I put your size box I mean size box put the height of 10 and then here I put the what put the container uh, it has some border and then put border radius Put some border radius of like ten, so it can be kind of uh, rounded. Um, then you have here. Um, we have in between. I have here in between. No image selected. Just if the image is not selected yet. And then you have an elevated button which allows us to say select image. Okay, so I think I can go with that. Select image. Yeah, I think you can go with that. But I would have put that select image in between there, inside there. So if I come and do something like this. Alright, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Alright, so from, I was having different concept, but... This one is a okay also. So there, there it is. So uh, there it is. It is just a, a container user interface. So you can as well do it. I can remove even this container like this. So go ahead and put and do this user interface for image picking. You can make it a component separately. Okay. You can make it a component separately. So you just be importing it. All right. So after doing so, now we're going to put now the real logic of uh, selecting an image. So I want to do like this. When someone uh, clicks here, I want us to show a bottom sheet that that shows us that asks the user if they want to pick from the camera or they want to pick from the what from uh, from uh, from from gallery. Okay. So I'm going to put here show bottom uh, so you can say maybe show picker bottom sheet something like that that's what i'm going to do so I'll go ahead and create this method okay so so put here show image picker bottom sheet this is just a method that i'm going to call when someone clicks here okay so let's go ahead and create this method alt and enter alt and enter create method yes so here is our method, okay? So I'm just going to put here uh, my 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 what my bottom sheet. So I'm going to explain what how I've done this. Let me give this bottom sheet some background color, white. Hope that's okay. <laughs> uh -huh. some width infinity let me put some decoration so I have to make sure that I remove this white if I put decoration and then put the color here white 
all right so let's go ahead and see what we've got so when you click on this you have this select image so you have here from camera or from gallery okay so you have click there pick image or select image from camera so this when you click here i want to launch the camera and uh, when you click here we want to launch the what the gallery so that's what you're going to do so let me show you how i've just created this mod uh, bottom sheet uh i can do something i think better than this okay okay can keep that on for now all right so uh so you have here show image picker bottom sheet this is the method that we just created so it will go ahead and say show model bottom sheet and then it, it goes it takes the context and you pass the context and then it takes also the builder so in this builder also it takes context then in this builder you open the curl bracket around this builder let me show you it's just let me remove this this is what you just do okay open the say sh, i mean open the show bottom sheet and takes the context and then takes the builder so this builder is just opening square bracket i mean normal brackets and then curl bracket next to it and then here you return what you want to display so if i want to display in this bottom sheet it is my container with width of infinity and has a decoration of uh, background color white and then it has some padding of 20 and then it's a column something like that so you need to have a select image from so this is a simple text and here the first one you put some space of 20 and then the first one is what is from camera this is just an elevated button so once when someone click here we launch the camera that's what i want to do oh from what from from what from uh, uh from 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 what from the gallery okay so that's what we achieve so you can do the same bottom sheet so when you click on select here it shows whether you want to pick from camera or you want to pick from gallery okay so after doing that bottom sheet now the next thing we're going to output the real logic of either picking from camera or picking from gallery all right so uh first things first we're going to have our path okay uh so we're going to have our path here i'm going to first have our image path so image path is going to just be a string on top there that's going to be empty then after we're going to have now our image picker our real image image picker so for me i always call it do uh do pick image something like that now the real pick image just like i say maybe image pick action okay so i call it do pick image so it will receive a source when you call it it will receive a what a source whether you're picking from a gallery or you're picking from whatever okay so uh i go ahead and uh, and launch our picker i mean and put uh, image what our uh, image file picker so this is how you put it so just write in capital letter begin with capital letter image picker so this is going to be our what our picker i can even put it here outside i think that is better so it can be created once so this is our simple picker which is going to be image file picker okay so after doing that now we're going to check if the source is an is a camera or the source is going to uh, it's going to be a gallery so it's just simply say here if source so the source that one these are selected is camera else is what so i can just simply come and put here if source is camera else is gallery so okay so i put if is camera else is gallery okay so if it is camera I'm just going now to do what to do the real image picking i'm going to explain this so just simply say file or x file so it's going to be final 
x file pic may call it picture equals to so you put your question mark because it can possibly null it can be possible it can possibly be null so just write your x file okay and then say pick equals to then say await picker so this picker dot pick image and then you specify the what the source if it was camera you do so and then you put the quality of the image that you want okay so you can put here maybe a hundred percent quality i think so yep. mm -hmm. the image quality yep. okay so and uh, now you check if this peak is not null so it can possibly be null okay if it is not null it is not null if it is not null you go ahead and now initiate this image path this one here image path equals to peak dot path and then say set state uh -huh, so that is when you're doing what you're doing uh you're picking from camera if you're picking from gallery you just uh specify this one eh? and say uh dot what dot gallery this one was dot camera this one is well dot gallery and then you do the same thing okay so that's how we're going to do what to pick the image and then you update the path of this image here all right so after doing so um after doing so we go ahead and uh, and now call that method let me first see what these errors could be about image show image picker cannot find why 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 okay i think god just skipped here one closing bracket okay so this is the one that is going not to do actual image picking eh? so now let's come to our buttons in here whether you select from uh so here the source so after popping here we're going to put image pick and then put camera do pick image and put camera and then here it's good. after popping up we're going to do, do pick image and we put gallery so by doing like this it will be able to do it either launch from gallery or from camera so let's say do go ahead and try so when i click on select image pick from camera and i say camera there's some error i think we need to restart our app we need to run it again so it can have the permissions to pick image so i'll stop and then run it again Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Let's be like editing. Select image, pick from camera. It launches our camera. You see, that is a camera. Okay, that is our camera. Can pick. And then you say yes. So our image has come. But we cannot see it because I've not put the logic of displaying it. But if you come and, the, and say, for example, well, there is no image, no image Alright, so here, where well, there is no image, no image selected, we can come there, and you see that you can put image path, and you see that our path is there. You see the image path is there. So I'm going to replace this thing, this container, this whole container where there is no image selected. I'm going to do like if image path is empty. 
I mean if is not empty is not empty if you display then for example I put here text maybe I say image selected okay and else it should display now no image selected so you see it's displaying image what image selected so instead of just having image selected I'm going to display the image itself so to display image itself you just simply say image.file okay like this image.file okay so you do like this so this if there is some image the image is not empty i'll go ahead and display it so this is how you display it you just simply say image.file and then you put this one uh that dot io okay so let me explain this it is image.file and then you specify the image that you want to display the path of course which is this path and then you put how it should fit there and then you put the width and height so if i refresh you see our image is there so if i want to have like width infinity i can just simply say width is infinity okay and then we check here our height was 200 so you can also maintain the same height so it can almost be the same here yeah, like this 8 200 okay so if you still remember uh the other thing was kind of rounded okay rounded so i'll just simply come and put surround this one with what you call clip rect so i just simply come and put here surround it with that with the center image and put here what you call clip rect like this and then give it border radius border radius of circular uh this one was 15 so i also put here 15 so by doing like that it will put that image in some kind of art in some kind of circle so maybe once the image is there you can put something of removing image okay we can put uh, logic of remove image so how can we do that remove image or change image so uh, we can come here this elevated button put it in a in a what in a row okay and then let's put alignment to center okay so we can go ahead and uh, duplicate here let me for example put here uh remove image button okay so you should also buy copilot so you can enjoy so you see here is my remove image what my remove image button it first check if the button is not empty it goes ahead and do what and do the remove image so in between here you can put your size box and put width of five okay so yeah there we go i can put maybe 15 there we go so i can put here maybe some background color okay so i put here maybe some decoration all right so i'll just leave it so if the, if, if the image is not empty i just put a remove image when someone clicks on it to set the image path to nothing uh -huh, now here also the wording it should be change image okay so uh, uh so here i check i check the word so i first check if image is not empty okay if image path is not empty it is change image if it is empty it is select image something like that i think they're good so let me just remove this style can I black something like that okay so that's good that's good uh that's good i can make this one kind of red okay okay that's good that's good i hope you've seen that so here can do remove image the image is gone no image selected select image click select image pick from guy from camera ah take image and the image there change image from gallery i uh, check if i have some images in gallery let's say you can download some from google uh save and continue no thanks i can say maybe food category image guide and 
click an image can say maybe drinks category image let me pick for example this one mm. now this one represent drinks uh -huh. uh, let me just for the same for the sake of time uh, let me just download that one so i download it eh? it's now in my gallery now i come back to application let me come back to application uh go back click image change image from gallery so our image is there and when i click there our image is up and it's, it's there it's there right so that is so beautiful yeah, so now we want to now work on the logic of submitting image okay so to submit image submit image uh, we're going to add it here in our uh, we're going to check if the path is not empty and then we add it in our what in our form data all right so our form data is going to be just like normal dynamic form that we always have so let's see how we how when you are submitting submit all right so here in submit we are converting this thing to json but right now it's going to be a different case so we're going to first uh, create a what a map of uh, string dynamic so we're going to first create a map of string dynamic and then in this map i'm going now to put our what our content so it's a map of string dynamic and then I'm going to put everything in our JSON eh? like this equals to I just simply get this uh, widget JSON. So I just first put it here. It's just going to be the same. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and check if the image path is not empty. So I'm just simply say if image path is not empty, image path is not empty. Is not empty i'm going to go and add it in our what in our path i mean in our in our uploader so to do so this is how you add it okay so this is how you add a file that you're going to upload so it is not empty i'm just going to say form data which is this one that you're going to submit equals to and then i put form data and then i, I put in uh the key in it which is file equals to and then i'm going to import this do as do okay so we're going to import this do as do okay otherwise it's going to do a conflict if you just do like this to throw a conflict so you have to come here to where you're importing do uh where is do uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. okay i think it's not there so come and import this one here uh, package do stroke do dot that as do like this so that's how it will resolve okay so you're going to say do dot malt part file dot from and then you put the image path and then you put some of the image name it can be just like the same as image path so it can be unique something like that and then here in here you put your what your so here you put here the form data so that is how you do it you upload the image that's how you upload the image let's try and see let's try and see so i go ahead and submit Bismillah. all right so there's some error let's go ahead and check uh, how we uploaded the image from the api so we shall see our let's go to our api 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 postman postman so we come to a postman here create i don't i don't see where i put image let's see do you have any image upload let's come here to items create items do you have some image upload let's see it is here we named it as photo you name it as photo i'd also give it a what the name that should be uh uploading so like where the image will be uploaded eh? 
So you first name it as photo, other it be photo. And then after you put where the temporary name of that photo, okay, if you still remember. So I put the temporary name of that photo where the photo should be uploaded. So our photo is going to be uploaded in which path? So it's going to be uploaded in which path? So if you're coming into our category, the path where the photo will be uploaded is called image. That's where this the 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 why i mean that is where the image will be saved in the database in this particular category so it's going to be image so i go back so here so if it is not empty upload this one and put in a path called photo and then the temporary fill file field like it is called image so like this save try to upload again yeah we have some error let's see Uh huh. So I have some error called null. Okay, so let's see if, if actually the images are coming. Let's see what we're getting back. Let's see in the history post. Okay. Let us see what we're getting back here. So an error, just with the print. Edit what? Let error and they say edit message and also and get anything that comes back in this response here and just display it. Data. Let's try to submit and see. It's just returning null. Okay. Converting object to encoded eh? instance smart part. Okay. I think uh, there's some error. I mean, there's some issue. Converting object to an encoded object failed instance smart part. Oh, I think there's some issue. There's some issue converting object to an encodable object failed. Huh? In this side of Flutter, I think, yeah. Let's search this. Going to add any libraries string dynamic image URL here. Okay, that's not that flutter determined before. No, you can realize arbitrarily of the flutter encodable because I find this one encodable. Okay. Attempting in my case I was attempting to use integer key in a map. Once I converted it to string, everything was resolved. Okay. To, let's see what could be causing that. Jason, let's try to put this onto string and you see. It's gonna be that. Okay. Now it has locked it. Okay, so I'm going to figure it out and then the next lecture. Let me see how I've been doing it here. Ta so here I put the file name, the image, the form data, 
in here multi part in http we receive let's see here what i'm receiving http ht post receive form data which is of the post like that okay it's connected uh, then come and put headers then data headers then data all right you're going to see how we fix that issue you're going to see how we fix that issue let's mix in the next lecture where we're going to fix this issue and get it done see you in the next lecture.